Rod Williams Show. Listen to my callers that I, I just um, muted. 
And if you just start thinking, brother, you should come back in. It's all right. I don't want you to be, you know, I don't want you to be the background. I don't want you to, to not be a part of it. If you don't come in the next few minutes, I'll unmute you if we got some noise. And if we don't, it's good. All right, but hey, listen, uh, for real, uh, yeah. tell me, uh, when, when did you start um, music? Because I was reading the Bible and say it. Yeah, um, I started years ago, uh, around the time I was like eight, nine years old in um, public school, PS 156, there in the Bronx. Um, I really excelled at like spelling and like writing a uh, little, my uh, ABCs and stuff like that. And around that time, of course, hip hop was real big in the 80s, early 90s. I think around that time, I was influenced by like Click Cross and uh, House of Pain's Jump Around music video. And since those two songs came out, I've just been hooked on music, not only just hip hop, but I mean, our family was really into music as far as like jazz, blues. My grandfather had a real big jazz background. So from my early age, like eight or nine years old, I was just involved in music and knew that someday it was what I wanted to do. I've been pursuing it ever since. Oh, man, that's great. You know, I always applaud people who find their dreams, but I, I give them a double shout-out, man, to people who follow their dreams. And so, man, I'm, 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 I'm really proud of you for doing that. Uh, and like I said, I, I've been listening to the music, man. I, I am thoroughly impressed. Uh, and I, in fact, I've got a, a young man that I, I had listened to it that wants to get into the music industry. Uh, he's pretty good and he thinks he's the best of the best, but you know, hey, you know, sometimes you need a reality check. But uh, I didn't listen to some of your stuff. <laughs> I didn't listen to some of your stuff and he was really impressed. And uh, so, let me ask you this. What, what advice would you give people who are interested or thinking about going to the uh, music business? Uh, because, you know, we, we're watching things like Empire on, on, uh, on the television, and we you know watch what happened with with Jay Z and some of the other guys, uh, Diddy and all the things that they're doing out there to run their own uh, thing. But you know there's, there's some some treachery going on you know out there in the industry. So what, what kind of advice would you give people that that are starting out coming out? My advice uh, would be just to keep going. You know what I'm saying a lot of people pursue their dreams, but I mean along the way they get caught up in the hard work, the struggle, and I mean they fall off, so to speak. So I mean my biggest advice and what I've learned from it is just to keep going. If it's what you love, it's what you want to do. I mean the only person that could stop you from doing anything in life is yourself. So I mean just work hard and know that. Not worth having comes easily overnight, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like my boy Nipsey Hussle says, another rapper, up and coming rapper, it's a marathon. I mean, you gotta look at it long term, there's legs to it. So, I mean, you just gotta have the endurance, you just gotta keep pushing forward, and just know that if you work hard enough, eventually you'll get there. I mean, that's my advice. Man, that's good advice, man. That's real solid, too. Uh, I appreciate that. Okay, listen, uh, I understand um, that there's a way that my listeners can uh, get some of your music or, or find a way to, to purchase this. So listen, let me do this right quick. Well, you know, uh, you know I need to go ahead and get the stuff on the paper. I, don't, I shouldn't have to tell you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Go ahead and get something to write this information down so that you can make sure that you get uh, whatever contact uh, information for real is going to leave for us, that you can support this brother in his work because the music is dynamite. So, having said that, I think I gave him enough time to take off. For, for real, let's go ahead and, uh, <laughs> how can we get something uh, that you're producing? Oh, uh, man, y'all can check us out over here at PMG on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Just search uh, PMG. Go to the page. You can get all the sites and all the links uh, for the music. You can also shoot me out personally on Facebook uh, at Timothy Rushing. That's R-U-S-H-I-N-G. From there, you can go to all my music sites on Reverb Nation, uh, SoundCloud, uh, my MySpace portfolio. Um, we got the SongTap site coming up soon. That's still in the works. So once we get that up and officially running, we'll blast that out. You can go check me out on that site, be able to download the music. And yeah, man, just hit me up, you know what I'm saying? Let me know 
You know what I'm saying? What you think about the EP New Beginnings? Let me know which song is your favorite. And just holler at me. I'm a real person, just like anybody else. You talk to me, I talk back. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So, brother, listen. I am. I am so glad that you, that you took the time to be on the show today. Hey, you had anything else left that you want to say, dear? Oh, man, just shout out to everybody in New York, my family, my moms, my brothers and sisters. Shout out to all my peoples in VA, my daughter, my other artists that are coming out, Mike Five, Casper, Neo the Great, Honey J. Definitely shout out to my family here in Winston-Salem, too. My manager, Big S Silver Coins, my cousin Kim Wells with the Virtuous Women and Sister Group Foundation. Uh, definitely giving me... Uh, nothing but the best support 100% since I got here and shout out to all the fans too the callers that called in today Kay, thanks for the love, appreciate everything you know what I'm saying, y'all just keep showing your boy love, I see y'all at the top <laughs> Hey, right, for real, listen, I'm going to tell you something, man. I, I was asking Kay to do that, but, uh, because I said, like, Kay, you have anything you want to say, dear? And then you started talking, man. I said, hold on, man, hold up, hold up. You heard that, Kay, right? <laughs> yes, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. One of my favorite songs as well is, uh, Crowds, Cries and Smiles. I think that's an awesome, uh, track. And, yeah, and the listeners to listen at it. It's good. He's an awesome artist as well as an awesome person. Just shout out. God bless. Well, all right. Hey, listen, listen. Look, you guys have been on the T. Gerard Williams show. We have been interviewing uh, for real, and uh, he's here with us from the depth of the heart, and we had T on the line. And we had somebody else that wasn't talking on the line, but you know what? At, at the T. Gerard Williams show, you can be yourself because it's all right. Listen, that's our show for today. I'm going to go ahead and end it. And uh, for real, thank you for being here, brother. It's appreciated. Kay, thank you for thank being you. here as well. And with that being said, boys and girls, this is T.J. Rod Williams of the T.J. Rod Williams Show. And as always, I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye now. If you're talking about it, talking about.